We already know the Pokemon are strong creatures and many of them would serve as great bodyguards and could potentially save your life from a threat. But sometimes that threat is invisible and cannot just be fought with flames and razor leaves. I'm talking about just being able to survive out in the open. For that I want to share with you some Pokemon that would just be quite in handy when it comes to these tough situations. So what do you think is more important for you to survive, food or water? Well I'm sure that most of you know that water is crucial when it comes to staying alive. You can survive without food for over 3 weeks, but when it comes to water, at most you will survive 1 week. And if it's terribly hot, that time frame would be shortened as you would dehydrate much faster. At this point you are all probably thinking, hey, I would just bring any water Pokemon, but that to me seems to be limited and nasty. I don't want to drink any water that has been stored inside any creature's guts, but if you want to make out with a Squirtle, be my guest. For those who want an alternative, make sure to keep a Guado always by your side. You see, its Pokedex entry states the following, quote, It knows where pure water wells up. It carries fellow Pokemon there on its back, end quote. Guado would always be able to find you some nice fresh water, and while you might be tempted to eat the berries that grow on its back, it is implied to taste bad to humans. But no worries, that is why we have the rest of the Pokemon in this list. Now that we got our water cover, we need to be able to get some food. I know what you're thinking. I got this bro. Let's just all bring some Tropius with us. Ah, good old Tropius. Hookerverse is a Pokemon that grows delicious fruit around its neck. That would make sense, except that according to the Pokedex, quote, it lives in tropical jungles. The bunch of fruit around his neck is delicious. The fruit grows twice a year. There is the problem. Twice a year. There's no way you're going to survive on that. The same goes for Snover that only grows his berries during the spring. But what about Blizzy? It is said that his eggs are delicious. That is true, but we don't know how fast it can create another one. For that reason, I would rather take my bed with Combi. These Pokemon work all day gathering nectar and creating honey. Not to mention that they're about a foot long, which leads me to believe that they would be providing me with more than enough honey every day. Full of sugar and nutrients that will keep your energy levels up. Not only that, honey can help you heal cuts and burns. It also keeps the area clean and helps prevent infections. Talk about multi-purpose. Okay, so now we're getting comfortable. We got food and water. But of course, in any survival class, you will learn that you will also need shelter. There are many Pokemon that can help you with that, so thank goodness for the options. In my case, I would prefer to keep a Conkeldur at my side. According to the Pokedex, it was this Pokemon that taught humans how to create concrete. So obviously, this Pokemon is a heavy duty construction worker that is going to help me build a nice concrete home that would help you survive and protect you anywhere you build it. And yes, I know that we have not talked about fire, that was just too obvious for me, so just pick any fire type. But when it comes to keeping warm, I would much rather keep an Altaria by my side because according to the Pokedex, quote, if it bonds with a person, it will gently envelop the friend with its soft wings, then hum. Its melodic humming makes you feel like you're in a dream." End quote. And after a long day trying to survive, what could be better than falling asleep in a cloud of fluffy cotton? There you have it Pokemon fans, those are some Pokemon that would save your life. I'm sure that we all have our favorites and why we would keep them at our side. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time Pokemon fans. 